The countdown continues to the November general election. We are a little more than two weeks out from Election Day for the midterms, and candidates are making their final campaign pushes. In the closely watched U.S. Senate race here in Pennsylvania, the Democratic nominee is getting support from the president. President Joe Biden is in Philadelphia right now, where he will headline a private fundraiser for John Fetterman. The two landed at Philadelphia International just after four. Eyewitness News reporter Ryan Hughes has more on his visit and how voters are feeling with Election Day right around the corner. Hello, Pittsburgh. Before landing in Philadelphia, President Biden made another stop in Pittsburgh to tout his bipartisan infrastructure bill. And in the front row, Democratic Senate candidate John Fetterman. I think it, uh, it benefits uh, any candidate to stand alongside a president of the United States. President Biden is also attending a private fundraiser in Philly as the highly watched U.S. Senate race between Fetterman and Dr. Mehmet Oz tightens. Al Schmidt is the president and CEO of the Committee of 70. It's not unusual for races to sort of tighten up the closer you get to Election Day. But what is unusual is how narrowly divided the Pennsylvania electorate is. A new AARP poll shows the race is now within the margin of error. Fetterman still holds a slight lead with 48% of likely voters, with Oz now at 46%. To be honest with you, I don't like either candidate. Right now, I don't know yet what I'm going to do, really. So you're still undecided? I'm still a little undecided. I think it's going to be tight, but I'm for Fetterman. Fetterman's lead has been slipping since June. His camp was quiet Thursday, but Oz's campaign released a statement that reads in part, quote, John Fetterman's desperate campaign is in a downward spiral, and he is doing anything he can to try and undo the momentum Dr. Oz has gained over the past several weeks. But with less than 20 days until Election Day, expect a full court press from both candidates. Ryan Hughes, CBS3 Eyewitness News. And for more information about the candidates, voting, and the issues, go to cbsphiladelphia.com and click on our voter guide.